Say hello to my little friend. This is one amazing package in a tiny, tiny shape. You'll want to stay tuned to this video to check this out. This is the Pudgy Shorty. Everybody, it's Trent Austin from Austin Custom Brass. Hope you're having a fantastic day out there today. Be sure to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with us with all of our free mini lessons, our cool show and tells like this one, our product demonstrations and more. We can't stress it enough. Thank you so much for your great support. It was a great past uh, week to see all of our friends both at the ITG conference in Miami and the ITF conference in Muncie, Indiana. While I was at ITG, I picked up this beautiful instrument. This is made by my friend and former student, Brent Peters, who now owns Pudgy uh, Trumpets. And this is what he calls his shorty model. It's not much bigger than a cornet, but it is a trumpet. Uh, you'll see some added tubing right here, and I'll flip it up so you can see the tubing there. And that's actually the main tuning slide right there with nickel silver inners. And then you have an additional slide. This is one of the big features on the pudgy instrument right here. And that can control some micro tonality um, and also tune uh, any first and first and second valve combinations like E's, A's, and sometimes the F on top of the staff. Has a little uh, beautiful inlaid buttons. Let's see if I can get some light onto those. Yeah, you can see those right there. Beautifully done. And it's got a raw brass but acid wash as well. The horn itself is very dark overall. I put a lo-fi video up here on YouTube and you want to check that one out. I'll play a few different clips with my MV3C mouthpiece. It's overall, I'd say it's a warm sounding soloist's horn, but uh, I'm going to put a, a, a high compression mouthpiece in it as well so you can hear that it does speak quite nicely. So let me turn up my talking mic and do some playing for you. First, just, just general playing on the MV3C. I've always had a love affair with cornets and for some reason, and I've bought every high-end cornet out there, be it the top of the line Besson, of course, the Adams, the Smith Watkins, the uh, Getzing cornet, which was the closest one, uh, and, and tons of vintage cornets. 
most recently a Con ADA with a Del Quadro belt, which I am selling because this is now replacing it. I could never get the cornet to speak the way I wanted it to. There's something in between the notes that I didn't enjoy while I played cornet. Well, that's not to say that's a general tendency between trumpet and cornet. That's just my own personal playing. And that's a big thing you all want to know is that find something that works well with you. And don't try to make something that might not work well with you. Try to make it work. There's something out there in the world of equipment that will work. Believe me, because I have seen it. And for me, I wanted a sort of a compact feel, something that was really easy to carry and travel with. Um, this won't replace Copernicus, but it will be another addition into the into the quiver we'll say so i love it this is the pudgy shorty model super great and someone asked me a couple days ago would this be a good instrument for lead playing now i don't think it would be because you're going to have projection issues versus a normal trumpet but if say you're playing a three horn gig trumpet saxophone and trombone or say you're playing in a brass quintet or something i think you could probably do some commercial applications with it so i've never actually put my small mouthpiece in this horn so i'm going to pull up my slide a little bit that's the main tuning slide right there turn off this mic and see what happens <laughs> tighten that upper register. But I think that's just more of an acclimation more than anything. I, I, I actually kind of like it. So let's do a, one of the clips you'll hear me play a lot online here on YouTube is that uh, great line from Phil Collins hanging long enough. So let's see if this works. Fun, fun, fun horn. Again, the pudgy shorty model, me by my friend Brent Peters in Portland, Oregon. Great horn, gets in valves, beautifully done, plays awesome. We will have these for sale. If you ever want one, you can order it from us or direct from Brent as well. Thanks again, Brent, for the great horn. I love taking it home uh, from IDG, and I hope you all find this video fun and enjoyable. Hit that subscribe button, stay up to date with us. We really appreciate your support. Can't do it without you. Thank you so much. You guys have an awesome day. Cheers.